sorry. <laughs> the Redundant Architects Recreation Association, the RARA, is a place for the low budget creative to come and make their shit happen. Located on the periphery, away from the constraints of the 9 to 5, offering total creative freedom. Our assets in order of priority homebrewed a heavenly ale and our sleeping pod, aka the fuck pot. Lovingly titled by our first intern, we use ale and the cheap and cheap accommodation, transient in its nature, as alternative form of economy. We realised early on in our establishment that the desire to get away from the office and bring your ideas to life was a strong one. I can slow down. <laughs> Flexibility of space in response to its users' needs and often abstract requirements. This is of utmost importance for it is to be popular and sustainable place to make stuff. We invite you to challenge the boundaries and use RARA to help you in making your ideas happen. We have a transient community of makers come and use RARA as a means to an end. It is offered space to the group and the individual. It's assisted not only the manifestation of projects, but has been beneficial in the conception of ideas. It's a space for all to use as they wish, which has, on several occasions, given small groups of designers and architects the confidence to bid for jobs that were out of their reach before. Informality encourages failure, and failure in turn encourages success. Within RARA, you are expected to fail so that whatever it is you're making leaves embodying more than the concept and a success at the end, uh, and it can be tested in the real world. We put ads on design to help us with an opera stage. We found someone who has continued to use RARA and has spread the word to others who are now starting to test their own designs, building desks at the moment, but with bigger ideas in mind. RARA is not only for the young creative with big ideas, it also exists as a tool for the professional practice to use as spill-out space for their own offices. It has been used by agents of change and frequently by Pippinism Studio who have used it to its full potential with their work for the Imperial War Museum's children's experience. This is an opera stage that uh, an intern and I made last year. What does this mean for the future of architecture? Does it change anything? The future of architecture, I cannot believe a small place like Rara can change. What we have seen, though, is that there are hundreds of people out there looking to carve their own futures away from the offices and the constraints of the universities and away from the gaze of the ROBA. We have a cinema on Tuesdays that has ceased to exist since Sam's departure from this earth. He did the first month of films and put all, his all into it. He was always relentless in pursuing the idea of RARA. He always put this at the forefront of his architectural theory and practice. He made RARA, and along with Dan and I, but essentially it was his baby and it was a testament to, it's a testament to him that it's a success. Um, we still need to make enough cash to pay the rates and the rent every month. We still need to get people through the door, and this has become a bit of a chore. We never intended to become janitors or landlords, and we're trying to find Rara a safe rock to step on that ain't too slippery and ain't going to encourage us to fall. Every Wednesday, we build boats. To be honest, we are not that good at it. And Wednesday nights have become an opportunity for people to drink ale, talk architecture, draw and make boats. So, I'm slightly behind, but this is a competition entry. While well, I'm in front, that's behind. <laughs> um, Sam designed this, and Dan and I made it through the night with lots of ale. Uh, and it was, in, uh, it was a light trumpet that showed a shoe at the front of it. Anyway, it's a bit complicated, but it was, it was fun. That's the boat building colony. An idea that we didn't get, we got shortlisted for, and we didn't win the competition. So we just do it anyway on Wednesday night at RARA. And um, we often get a few people down to drink and um, make boats. So the mill, um, now we've found the mill. I talked more about it earlier this week, so I'm sorry to those who missed it. 
We put an online ad for architects and designers to come to rainy Walthamstow to be a part of building a project that lasted only eight weeks. With only five grand to spend on materials, we are offered the mill, a charity form to get this place going. Free labour in return for their accommodation upstairs. We got 200 applicants and chose seven to do this. We changed it from a redundant library into a functioning community centre. And the RRR recruits did Rara and themselves proud. Rock on recruits. Um, that's Richard and Owen, both uh, vital to the building of, of what, what's changed the place around. Um, so, just briefly, they, they changed the layout of this whole place and built some furniture, made it an interesting place to be. I've talked about the Reba and the universities. I've yet to fully understand the latter's existence. Um, that's the Reba, that's the former, sorry. But we'll attempt to next year. <laughs> I see that there is a severe equality gap between those that have had the opportunity to study for five years and those that haven't. Inequality is a problem. Can the making of, the, of things of shit help narrow this gap in our society? Probably not, but Rara is going to be there to attempt to narrow that gap. By not diluting its integrity and by trying to create a place where the lay person can become an architect outside and away from the ROBA. Our question on our next adventure is directed at architecture's end users. Can you produce architecture? That's a question to those that are out there. Probably not most of you guys in here. Um, that's it, that's my 20 slides. I should have shot my head off by now because I think it's up. But thanks for listening. You said there were questions. What's going on next? Like, what are you doing? Well, about? this is a gun tree that I've got today for the Architects Apprenticeship Scheme. So, I've uh, done some feelers aside from this building. This building needs a bit more work and hopefully we'll be able to do some more work to it. But there are other buildings in the area that require a similar intervention. And um, I was going to approach it from a different angle this time and, and get the people who come to Rara, especially those on Wednesday night, to uh, help um, get people onto a kind of an apprenticeship stage where they build a portfolio of work um, and are able to start using CAD, but also are able to explore the the way that architecture, the, the process of architecture, um, and build a portfolio that they can present to a possible employer and perhaps get a job out of it. Um, and that will be by um, me and other people who are interested in teaching people on the street, or old people who would rather do architecture than knit, getting them to do architecture instead, as well as. as well, surely there's um, like some practices that would be more um, open to taking someone who'd be trained by RARA than others, because there seems to be like a real language or a technical, I don't know, a set of things that you do that doesn't look like you do a lot of yeah. rendering, uh, like 3D Studio Max, for example. So, well, yeah, that's it. But the people who do come to uh, RARA are good at that as well. They're good at rendering, they're good at 3D Studio Max, they're good at all sorts of things. Um, but they want to come to Rara to build stuff, and I think that's the end. The end part of this project is that we'll get people down, teach them how to do CAD drawing, 3D rendering, building models, and then build something at the end of it, like these small interventions that have happened in here, and get people like Richard, who built the, the and designed a lot of the furniture out here, um, to not only do the design and the building, but also in have a couple of interns himself to to pass on that. Obviously there's a problem with um, sort of the management of that whole thing, but that's what we're experimenting with next. That's the next idea. I mean, um, in, in terms of like, how do you see like the relative importance